What's up fellow fishing addicts? My name is Toby and today I'm going to share a Chinook Salmon Catch and Cook from last summer. This Asian inspired recipe is stupid simple and super flavorful. It's salty and the green onion and ginger flavors are fresh and vibrant and it pairs really well with pretty much any kind of fish or seafood. And it just begs for a big bowl of rice. Honestly, I think it's my new favorite way to cook salmon as it comes out juicy and delicious every time and it's so easy. Full disclosure, it's so simple, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first person to cook salmon this way. And actually, I got the idea from my girlfriend's mom's father's, brother's, nephew's, cousin's recipe for cooking crab, and it turned out that it's amazing on salmon too. Anyway, let's get to the catching and cooking. Enjoy. Tank it or what? I got the pink. I think it's pink. At least tangled. Check your hooks. It's pretty good. What about 20? 18? Unfortunately, that was all she wrote for the fishing. The bite died off shortly after we landed that fish. We kept fishing into almost sunset and then packed it in before it got too dark. Okay, let's get to the cooking part. Okay, so we have uh, the tail section of uh, the spring salmon that we caught last night, and it's already been scaled on the other side. I should say that this is a, a small piece of fish, obviously, but it's just uh, for me and uh, my buddy down here. So we're gonna save him a piece of this for later. I think that's what uh, you'd like to have. Hey. What do you think, buddy? Cool. Now you wait for some salmon. So all we need to do is uh, score the backside of the skin so that uh, Fish doesn't curl up when we cook it later. Next, we're going to salt down the fish. And it's really important to always use sea salt here. Never use table salt, because it will ruin the flavor and give the fish a metallic taste. Salt the fish for about 30 to 45 minutes in the fridge and wash down the cutting board. Okay, next, we're going to chop up two to three green onions. And shred one to two tablespoons of ginger. My ginger is frozen because that's how my family keeps ginger, which my girlfriend thinks is weird. But fresh ginger works great too. After the fish is done salting, rinse off the salt and pat the fish down with a paper towel to remove any excess water. Preheat your pan to medium and add one to two tablespoons of oil and toss in the green onions and ginger. Saute them for about a minute. You want their flavors to mix into the oil, but you don't want to brown them. Then scrape them off to one side to make way for the fish. Place the fish in the pan skin side down and spread the green onions and ginger on top. Let it cook for about three minutes so the skin gets golden crispy and the fat under the skin renders down a bit. 
then add about an eighth of a cup of water. Cover it with a lid and let it steam for about four minutes. This is where the magic happens. The steam is going to infuse all that green onion and ginger flavor right into the meat and help keep the fish super moist. Press down gently on the fish to see if it's cooked all the way through. It should bounce back slightly. Take it off the heat and let it rest for a few minutes. All right, let's check this out. It should be super moist, but cooked all the way through. And there should be a flavor explosion in your mouth. Oh yeah. So there you have it. Not a bad three hours of fishing on a beautiful summer evening out on the ocean. Followed by probably the most simple and easy way to cook fish outside of frying it in butter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel to see more recipes and fishing tips slash adventures. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time out on the water. Peace.